student, let's solve some discriminant problems. Although the word discriminant isn't going to be used in the problem, you will know because they're presenting you with a quadratic equation. And how do you know it's a quadratic equation? It has some squares in it. If there's a, if there's a square, something is raised to the second power, it's going to be a quadratic equation. Then um, you know that they're asking you about the discriminant because they're asking you about the number of solutions. So I gave you a lot of hints. I'm gonna show you the problem, give it a stab, and then unpa unpause it once you have your solution. What did you guys think? The first thing I would do is I would transfer T over to the inside. So my equation would look like this, two X squared minus four X minus T. And all of that is equal to zero. So remember how we talked about a classical quadratic equation, AX squared plus BX plus C. Here, my A is two my b is negative 4 and my c is negative t now they're asking you about the equation having no real solutions remember if the equation has no real solutions then the discriminant is equal to less than zero your discriminant has to be something negative so b squared minus 4 a C, and there's a multiplication between A and C, has to be less than zero. Okay, so what's your B? Your B is negative four, 16, four squared, minus four times your A is two, and times negative T. If you're multiplying by negative T, then you're gonna have an addition. So 16 plus 8t has to be less than zero. How is it possible? Only if t is negative three. Then you can just quickly look at your answer choices and see that only if t is negative three, then you're gonna get a negative number for the discriminant. That's all. That's, all, that's the only thing you need to know to remember how to solve this problem. Make sure you leave a comment below this video if this was helpful for you guys. And I'll see you in the next video where we tackle a slightly harder problem.